Okay, so this is our old charger for our horse box and 4x4. Four four. Uh, runs on the mains and as you can see, very bulky, uh, very clumpy, uh, so it has to work off the mains. Um, takes time to set the different buttons um, to where it should be, etc. Um, and obviously not mobile, can't come with us. So to um, have the security on the road and when we're out and about, we're very lucky now to have the um, premium mobile solar jump starter and power pack. Um, and I think it's really a no brainer as to which size you would rather carry around with you. Um, so we'll go indoors, we'll show you all the um, connectors that you can get with the power pack. So it comes with lots of um, extra goodies and a couple that you can buy separately. And then we'll go on to the car and show you how easy it is to use. Hey there, I just wanted to um, introduce indoors the uh, power bank options um, you have from Mobile Solar. Um, so I just wanted to show you the two main options. So you've got um, the Overland power bank and the slightly larger um, Overland uh, Plus, uh, both universal high power performance uh, capacity power banks um, acting as external batteries um, and both have the jump start facilities um, for your car or lorry, boat, motorbike, um, etc. So, um, sorry, um, so. Um, You've got multiple um, additions to the package. So you've got various um, connectors, uh, female connector you can use. Um, I'll use that for my stay away kettle. Uh, all the standard iPad, iPhone connectors. Um, and also you've got your phone connector. Um, you can recharge into uh, to the car from the car if necessary, if, uh, if, you, if it runs down at all, if you need to. And then obviously you can recharge from the uh, wall socket if needs be as well, when you need to recharge. Um, but both of them hold their charge for months um, and um, will um, be usable, uh, sorry, reusable um, several times before you need to um, charge them back up. So um, when you're going away in the lorry, um, ideally you need uh, one uh, battery for your engine and one leisure battery. And carrying around two bulky batteries um, can be quite um, space consuming and sometimes not possible. Uh, for example, uh, we just have our Pathfinder with our trailer at the moment, so a leisure battery isn't possible. Um, but these power banks have enough juice to jumpstart the vehicle and also power your phone and all your stay away items in one go. Um, no, they're not cheap, um, but they're not that expensive either. But what price do you put on security? Um, I would say readily available emergency power is priceless um, if you need to get home. And also to top up your uh, USB devices, your phone, your laptop, whatever you're using away. Um, again, uh, the necessary need to top them up sometimes. Um, without the use of a wall plug um, again is is pretty priceless um, so as i say they're both um, high performance premium power back pa power power banks sorry um, they're both um, quite rugged um, you know you can sort of throw them about within reasonable degree um, and you've got uh, several sections i don't know whether you can so you've got um, your power and nicely protected um, your USB socket there so they're nicely protected um, within the rugged uh, uh, pack uh, then you've got an external light there um, so again uh, for emergencies you can use the um, LED torch or you can also put it on an SOS flashlight if needed um, so that's a very quick in 
side guide um, to what we've got. So this is the one um, that can power bank jumpstart um, a petrol up to three litres and a diesel up to two litres. And then you've got the bigger one um, again with the connectors on the side all protected by the again in the front again all protected uh, by their casing and this one um, is the one that we keep in the pathfinder um, and this one will jump start easily um, petrol up to six litres and diesel up to four litres um, in an emergency we have jump started the pathfinder on that little one um, when we found out it had the wrong uh, main running battery put in by the garage um, so both will start our four by fours um, but if completely dead say on a cold winter's day um, or the battery is completely flat um, this is the one you'll need for your bigger diesel engine um, so hopefully we'll connect up the video to our outside um, demonstration later and we'll see you in a bit thank you okay so moving on out into the open we've got the two jump starters that we were comparing indoors. Um, so we've got the small one which I will keep in my car, uh, the big one which will keep in the Pathfinder. Both can, on a full charge, both can recharge over 15 times before you need to recharge them. Um, so um, as we said inside the small charger you've got um, up to um, a 3 litre petrol, 2 litre diesel in a car you've got um, a, a 6 litre petrol and 4 litre diesel um, so pop the small one back in they both come with all the same uh, gadgets you can buy extras if needed um, so as we showed inside the small USB area for charging nicely held together waterproof I'm not going to drop it but robust your starter button and your second set of connectors. So ever so simple, get your jump starter leads, line them up, put them in. Hold on, Let's line them up, put them in. Excuse me, I'm a bit cack handed. Line them up, put them in. <laughs> okay, and as simple as red on red, black on black, because this car doesn't need charging up so we won't, um, so red on red, black on black and all you need to do, you can't see but the lights are on, showing you ready to charge, um, let's get the charge run through, 